Charlie. This is a day I've dreamed about since I was eight years old. Literally. I have third grade journals to prove it. May 5th, 2001. I love Charlie Farrell. He's so cute and funny. I always dreamed about me and him getting married. What an amazing. That's just unbelievable. Wow. I mean. I don't want to use the phrase meant to be lightly. Meant to be implies divine intervention, the cosmos aligning, souls entwining, beating as one. For those reasons is exactly why I choose to use that phrase intentionally today. It is no coincidence. Every little moment, emotion, and decision we have made on our separate paths has summated into this moment. And I deem that as bona fide magic. We have literally conjured a world where two of us stand here, surrounded by everyone we love with infinite possibilities at our feet beyond this present moment. It is no coincidence. Emma Catherine Beisel, I truly cannot believe I'm standing here with you today and you're about to become my wife. I've had a crush on you for over 20 years and it seems I will be able to champion that crush with the entire world for the rest of my life. I'd like to thank my family and friends for inexplicably molding me into someone who you'd want to share your life with. Most people have a vision in their minds of who they want to marry. You walked with a smile and an effervescent laugh from my dreams into my life. What I find especially remarkable is that you, even at such a young and impressionable age, truly saw me for who I was. The nerdy, funny girl who loves you so much. Your ability to see others in their true form and seeing the best in that form is an incredible trait that you still possess. I'm inspired every day by your compassion and kindness to those around you. This is more than imagined. This is more than ordinary. It is no coincidence we chose each other. And I'm ecstatic that we embark on this adventure together with the magic we've created in our wake and love in our hearts for each other. You may now kiss your bride. person I've ever met. You value your family over everything. Every time I see you around tiny humans, I'm astounded at your endless creativity and natural ability to connect and engage with anyone. Statues attesting to your legendary ability as a mother will be commissioned for installation <laughs> in some beautiful Savannah Square. I'm calling it now. Your children will be exceptional and immensely talented young people. I cannot wait to be their father. I vow to you to always be an unfailing foundation for you and our family to build our eighth wonder of the world upon. You and our family will be the purpose and consideration of every choice I make. I promise to listen, to speak lovingly, to give generously all of myself, to care, to heal, to rejoice, and to love with you forever and always. I promise to be faithful and supportive and to always make our family's love and happiness my priority. I will be yours in plenty and in want, in sickness and in health, 
in failure and in triumph. I promise to continue to laugh with you and find pockets of unexpected joy in our lives. I vow to always have time for you, your feelings, your wants, your desires, your problems. I vow to be there for you always. I'll always be there to try and make it better, make it right, to calm, to soothe, to create. I vow to always love you. Emma Catherine Beisel, I vow these things and more that I cannot possibly express with language. Forever, always. I cannot wait to be your husband. I see these promises as a privilege. I'm privileged to love you and build a life together with you. I am privileged to call you my husband and the future father of my children. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind always be at your back. May the sunshine warm upon your face. And may the rains fall soft upon your fields. Schlante. I'm sure many of us have been to many weddings, but I've never been to one that exudes Charlie and Emma. Like, like the wedding is very much their own. And it's a, it's a special thing. It's been beautiful and y'all are amazing. And I love you to death. Please accept this small gift as the realization of third grade Emma's dreams. Please use this to begin a chronicle filled with love, laughter, and excitement. The adventure I have planned for the rest of our lives will surely be worthy of an exceptional narration. Uh, an amazing, amazing wedding. I mean, is there any doubt that these two belong together? From this point onward, we shall be more entwined than ever before. Yet, I would argue, we've been beautifully entwined since the very beginning. It is no coincidence that I love you today and forever onward. <laughs>